What's up guys, Riviera Customs. Sorry for the delay on videos. Um, I got hit with a lot of shit to do. My neighbor called on me, long story short, on my deck that you guys seen. And uh, I had to comply with the permit. Uh, it's all built right, they're just going overboard with it. Uh, I had the deck basically sitting on a concrete foundation instead of digging big holes and they made me dig four foot holes fill it with concrete and also I have to put this LVL load bearing beam underneath it yada 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 but enough of that I've been crazy on the house again can't always film as often and now it's getting cold it's almost the end of November now I wanted to get out here and do one last thing that I've been wanting to do on the car and that is power steering I couldn't do it for the longest time because my remote thermostat is kind of taking up the bolt holes yeah I could probably move it but then I have to buy these expensive hoses again and no thanks and also I wouldn't be able to run a belt because of my lower rad hose location so what did I do I'm sure you guys heard of this swap but this is electric power steering from a 2005 Volvo S40 found this online and uh, it's worked out pretty good this so far so I took the stock bracket and I wish I had the other piece but there's one long piece that comes off of it that you cut off and I basically welded it to my rad cradle it has its own rubber isolator so there's no vibration in the car and I opted to hide it here behind the grill and behind the bumper and uh, that's all there is to it really I'll explain a little bit because there's a lot of people well not really a lot of people but there's a few people doing these swaps on YouTube and they don't explain much I kind of had to do a little bit of guesswork and I also asked a few people uh, I wish I knew the one youtubers name uh, but if you search electric power steering <clears throat> there's a guy on there that has a red 1990 fox body ls swapped drift car type thing and this he did this swap so he helped me a bit he messaged me back when i commented and i had some questions for him so here's what happened here so this was all good this all went in nice and easy fabricated this in there and whatever now the line was a pain in the ass because for him in the video it was easy because his stock line came right off of his stock pump from the Mustang and bolted right into this pump this is the Regal and it was not the same my fitting was actually this is the Volvo one but for example the fitting for the Regal is too short so it doesn't seat that o-ring all the way in so square one what do I do I searched around and I called my friends at ICT billet and here's one baggie I don't know where the other one is but that's one baggie so what these are are basically adapters I'm sure you guys seen them before but it turns a transmission line slash power steering line into uh, a dash 6 an so it it made it went from basically where is it <clears throat> that fitting on that end 
with a 6AN coming off the top. You screw that into your pump, you screw that into your rack, and now you can get from any place that makes high pressure lines, they can make you a line. That's all it looks like really. Kind of looks like a stock one. Actually, I could show you over here. <clears throat> Even his is pretty similar, except it comes down into metal lines, right? <coughs> Excuse me. So I did that, had to make the hose with a dash 6AN fittings. I bought these elbows from them as well, and they screwed right onto those fittings from ICT. And the return hose is just a transmission oil cooler uh, transmission capable hose because I was trying to use some braided stuff, make it look all fancy, but it started chewing away at the coating on that, so that's no good. So I had to get a uh, transmission fluid capable hose, and that's all I did there. So basically, that's how you need to get your hose made. No one really tells you because the guy that I was actually watching and got this idea from, he doesn't explain that because on his, all it was was plug and play. He took his off his stock pump and it screwed right into the Volvo pump. So now I'll explain the wires for you. I won't be able to show you really, I'll try. Show you. So, anyways, there's two harnesses there. One there, one over there. The one harness has two wires coming off of it. This exact gauge, red and black. Red goes to constant power to your battery and black obviously goes to ground the other harness that's on the pump has three wires you only use one of those wires that will be your key on which that's what this is for me that'll run into the car right now i'm doing some testing and i will show you this in a minute <clears throat> so basically uh I think it's a gray with orange stripe. That's the one you use. 2005 Volvo S40 power steering pump. And uh, that's as easy as it gets right there. It's actually pretty easy. My big problem was figuring out the high pressure line. And I just got it now. Oh, here's a good example because I had them make it for me and they made it 13 and a half inches instead of 24 inches so I had to get another one that one that's in there and here's an example for you guys maybe you can tell them that if you want the line made dash 6 10 millimeter 3 8 high pressure line that's what the fitting looks like it's beveled to hold the AN and they swivel so heavy duty really heavy duty over 3,000 uh, PSI capable they said so how I have this running right now uh, basically I'm putting a battery here and I'm running a dual battery after when I get one and I'm upgrading the alternator. So I have it bridged right now from the power post over here to this clamp. I got the ground from the jumper box to the ground. I have my ground on the Volvo pump. Just both grounded right there for now. And power from my jumper box just to keep the battery from dying. So I'll show you this real quick.
it is loud it's not that loud but compared to when you're driving and the motors running you'll never hear it especially being way up there so and it's this easy look at that I would never be able to do that the way I had it look easy so that worked out I haven't obviously driven it yet I'm not going to I'll drive it in the spring and take a moment to show you <clears throat> for all of you that said when are you getting a steering wheel there she is I just got that in the mail and also uh, <clears throat> the billet uh, window cranks so those are those and I gotta find a new bezel for the dash there and do my headliner and that's done so basically this is just a little update for you guys see what I'm up to now I'll go give you a peek of the deck for those who are interested <clears throat> If you guys have any questions whatsoever, need any help, I'm here for you. Leave a comment. I'll help you with anything I can possible. And uh, I really think this is going to be a really good addition to the car, having power steering. Because this thing is sketchy when you're in it. And there's no power steering. So, let me go show you these. The work I'm doing right now give you a peek at this so the deck sitting on a temporary beam on jack stands I cut the legs off and I dug four foot holes and filled them with concrete then what I'll do that beam that's in there will sit under the posts kind of like that one is but over here and then my feet will get cut shorter and that'll sit on that and that's how they want it so I'll give them what they want get them out of my hair so they leave me alone and in the process I'm doing a concrete form right here because it floods over there and I'm sick of walking out the back door, walking through the muddy grass, just to get to the concrete. So that'll be nice too. So, as always, thanks for watching. I know my videos are kind of like rambling and explaining, but um, it's all I really can do. Maybe I'll get like a tripod or something that holds my cell phone just until I feel like spending the money on like a GoPro or something like that um, you know what let's hit uh, 700 subscribers let's get that going tell your friends tell anybody if you think my videos are interested interesting and you think they'll be interested in watching them let them know check it out if i get 700 subscribers by spring i'll start doing live well not live but i'll video what i'm doing instead of explaining it after i do it because you know i even don't i like informational videos like that but i rather watch them do it and explain it so I I feel your pain I understand what you guys want because it's what I would want I'll start doing a tripod let's get to 700 subs and I'll start making videos like that and until next time I appreciate every single one of you uh, this may be maybe the last video until the spring I don't know 
we'll see. Uh, it gets way too cold out here to do anything. And I don't like busting my knuckles in the cold. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. And uh, until next time, thanks for watching. Enjoy.